this welcome back to um PMK reads bananas with Slanif and would it kill you to keep a consistent title? Yes, actually. Oh, cool. What? Hmm. Continue. Reading more fan fictions. This one is from German or douche. No, no, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it like that. From German to English, of course, because I no, I should I should like try to make one. I should try to read one in French next time. See how the well that goes, and people can like say you're terrible at reading French. And they'll be like, I took French for two years. Screw you. Anyway, there's a fun fact. Shadow of Dreams by Ponderous. The world as we know it is the world as we know it ceased to exist, and all I could think was that I wanted to be with you. The world as we know it has ceased to exist, and all I could think that what I wanted to be with you. Sir. See, this one's interesting because it's because it's both there's a German and there's also the person translated themselves to English. I'm only reading the German part translated by Google though. But, but, but sir, you're going too far with that already. What? You said you could only like you could only think about me or something like that. God. Oh. I'm not talking to you, I'm reading. God. Alternate universe in which Aaron is not a Titan shifter. Aaron Dash Annie. Bilingual, blah blah blah. Part two up in German and English. Good for them. Anyway. German. The story is bilingual and an experiment on pretty much every level. I write in German and then translate it with the help of a lead shot in English. Chapters wait, am I even reading the right untranslated part? I don't I'm just gonna skip this pre pre oh yeah, this is the right one. Blah blah blah. As I, as I read the manga in English, I'm not familiar with standardizations of versions. Okay, prerequisites. Aaron has not his Titan's forces. The can of mine from someone else have. He survived the battle of comfort, but is wounded. The yep, battle this is the right of one. comfort. The battle of comfort. <laughs> Those damn chairs. <laughs> I was going to say bed, but that works too. Shadows of dreams. Blah, blah, blah. We were young and naive and thought we could achieve anything. The struggle against the Titans was a breeze. We had worked hard enough for it. We were ready to take on all of them. We would show it to them already. Or so we thought. The pain in my leg is unbearable. I would describe it as hell. I would not, I would not just come straight from hell. The gash below my knee where this morning joined my calf is nothing compared to the horrible images that have been burning into my brain forever. They say I am the only survivor of my squad. They say I have ever even lucky to be alive. They say someone found me and took care of my injury. They say I almost bled to death. I only cry in pain until the morphine takes effect. You're saying a lot of things. <laughs> yep. In my head, everything floats. I'm gonna get that checked out. I do not know if I'm awake or dreaming. Terrible memories mingle with gruesome fantasy images. What? It's as if I would live. It's as if I would live through it all again, only much worse. Blood and long rows of teeth, get flesh are everywhere, and a sea of bodies. The faces of my comrades are distorted in fear and pain. Thomas, Mina, Armen. I was able to save any of them. I could not even save myself. But, Why? But, but he's alive, which means he <laughs> saves himself. Have we not prepared for three years for this fight? What was all that? What was all the? What was that? All the hard training, but when we fell victim to the cruelty of the Titans at the end, cool hands on my skin that glows from fever, delicate fingers stroke gently across my forehead and my hairline. Ew. Lips caress my temple. What? I must be dreaming. <laughs> Maybe looking for me the memory of my mother home. This world has no such affection left for me. Not anymore. You hot-headed idiot. Oh, whisper. You hot-headed idiot. The voice is a whisper in my ear. I know them, and yet it is strange. This tone, so rough and soft with a hint of a smile, is something in which I have never heard them speak. I mean, I am unable to assign the voice a face. Have you again plunged headlong into the fight? Warm breath caresses my ear. I thought you said Two warm. fingers. Should we stop? This is getting kind of into it. Okay, no. Two fingers draw lines on the skin at my temples. I fight against the inertia of my eyelids. I need to see what it is. But at the same time, I am afraid that it's just a dream that disappears as soon as I open my eyes. I'm doing it anyway. First, everything is blurry. A shadowy, dark outline against glare. It becomes clearer. Blonde hair that falls into her face. Blue eyes that look at me with tussled tresses round. Um. I blink. What is she doing here? What makes them? <laughs> what? <laughs> what makes them? Her hand still stroking over my sweaty face through my tangled hair. It must be a dream, so I do not know Annie Leonard. That's not her name. 
If it is known for one thing, besides their constant lack of interest in just about everything around them, it's their callous rudeness. I have often experienced it at uh, the, at our own body during combat training. Wait, hour. What? Oh, God. Looks as if our training time clearly over. What she says makes no sense to me. You're not the only one here. <laughs> what it does even less. A thumb stroking the bottom of my lips. Ew. Or Finn numbed my body still. I can barely think straight. Max pressed her mouth against mine. She moves her lips rhythmically on mine, and I do not know what happens to me. I can now feel her hands on my chest, and as they wander slowly deeper, I, should, I think we should stop. <laughs> I think we should stop. But I'm going to keep going anyway. Befuddled as I am, I cannot remember much of what I could do. I could respond to them. To close the eyes seems to be a good idea for now, so I do exactly that. And already I can feel a lot better. Her lips on my mouth, her hands sliding over my shirt. Somehow my lips begin their strange dance to join in, to adapt to the rhythm of their movements. <laughs> I cannot think much about it anyway. I am too dazed, so I act instinctively. Fully execute repeated the same motion with my mouth until her lips away from my reach. What? My eyelids are so heavy I do not think that I will soon be able to open my eyes again like that. But her face is still very close. I can feel her warm breath on my skin. It penetrates no reddish glow through my closed eyelids. Ew. Probably because her head is blocking the light. Farewell, Aaron. Again, she strokes me gently on the forehead, and she puts her laps, one, laps, lips once again on mine. A tender kiss, the last thing I ever see Annie Leonard, or rather, will feel. So that got awkward. When I open my eyes, the next time it is long gone. My injured leg painful laments the loss of his lower half, and I moan in agony. Again, someone is there to save me from my suffering. Pass, at least. I sink back into the surreal world of Morphine. Pain-free, but packed with nightmarish visions and images. Armin, we wanted to see, but to see, but together. To see, but we were young and <laughs> we were young and naive and thought we could achieve anything. But fate struck a cruel trick on us. We have not lived. Did not even know what that really means before it has most of us caught cold, dead or crippled. I do not know which is worse. I will never again use the three-dimensional the three-dimensional maneuver equipment. A wooden leg is not enough for military service, no matter what division it is. So my plans are nullified. I guess I can now be old and gray. I'm bitter. The sea is nothing more than a pipe dream. The world outside the walls of a fixed idea that I have to beat out of my head. Although Mikasa sort of debts me well, that is that's not so. And she's probably right because they breathe and still at my side should be proof enough. For me, it feels as if nothing left me. I have a wish. I want to feel Annie Leonard's lips on mine. Only once. You already felt it twice. Get over yourself. That's it for chapter one. Oh. So, um, yeah, that was getting awkward. Just a little bit. This time, though, we're going to chapter two because it's kind of short. Oh. Yay. There's about 100 seconds left. Well, that's time to finish the next chapter two, then. Yay. Probably. Not not in this episode. Huh. I, mean, I mean, next part. So, yeah. My arm is flying across the map. It hit the invisible wall on the other side. Wow. Video proof. Wow. I seriously thought that was going to go, um, somewhere. Especially when they were talking about the hand. Ah, uh, stop paying attention, what? I thought that was definitely going to go somewhere. Especially when you started talking about a um hand. No. It, you, you... it wasn't it saying something about going down. No, it said deeper. Same thing. <laughs> uh... Well, I guess you can take the time, just the forty seconds to get ready for the next one. Get ready. Unless you want to end the song. So just, I mean, it's your thing, end it when you want to. And we do have to give time for people to try and find their own as well, not just see if, like, anybody gets suggestions up before the last part is out, and yeah. Wait, what are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> um, give people time to actually suggest their own. Yeah. Because we have enough parts for a while, so that should give people enough yeah. time. 
Well, yeah, but I mean, like, let's at least finish this story for the well, next Well, yeah, part. obviously, the story. Yeah, then we'll, then we'll stop and let people suggest stuff if they want to. Huh. Or whatever. Hey, 20 kills and 9 deaths. Speaking of which, um, for the stuff that you guys do suggest, try not to suggest anything pornographic, because that's a no. Creep- this is borderline, but that's not the point Creepy right Creepy and uncomfortable is fine. Yeah. But nothing that actually goes, she grabbed my penis. <laughs> nothing like that. Is it bad that I'm trying to think of a creepy way to put that to make it sound more fanfiction written? I think the way I said it sound did a pretty good job of making it creepy. She reached down and caressed my penis. My nether region. Anyway, that ends this part. After the awkward... Did I just say that out loud? What did you say out loud? The, um... She reached down and caressed my... Okay. Yes! (laughs) And we have proof. Anyway, that ends this part of you... Question. Who are you playing as again? Uh, Aaron. Oh, oh god. (laughs) Anyway, that ends this part. This has been Slana Fand. Me. (laughs) <laughs> See you guys next time.